What is the role of the new institutions that have been set up in the last few years? There's a social and economic council at the parliament that you are chairing. There is yeah. also the new consultative council that has been created last December. What is your view on the role of these institutions? Well, I think that this, uh, all the institutions were created because uh, of the, uh, I should say, objective need. I mean, the, uh, our population uh, is, uh, became more and more educated. And uh, because of this uh, level of uh, education, uh, the society needs uh, much more room uh, for their own, uh, how, where they can present their views about uh, many important questions uh, uh, which are, are more or less important for the society, for the people. I mean, uh, it seems to me that uh, uh, this is uh, an objective need in this sense that uh, we had, uh, uh, we have to build up new platforms, uh, new institutions, which can uh, uh, be used by people, uh, because uh, on our we based on our exp uh, own experience. And uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, these institutions, which uh, one can tell them, uh, they call them, uh, no, no. we shall start from the beginning, okay? Good. There are a series of new institutions yeah. that have been set up in Poland over the last few years. The Social and Economic Council at the Parliament that you are chairing. There is also uh, the new Consultative Council, which has been set up uh, mm -hmm. in December of 1986. What is the role of these institutions? Is it an attempt by the state to create channels of communication with society after the solidarity crisis? Uh, no doubt. Uh, I think that uh, all these institutions are uh, uh, a result of these uh, huge changes which has taken place in Poland in the last years. I mean, just uh, during the uh, crisis in 80-81 and then the next years. We came to the conclusion, I mean, we, not only the party, but uh, people who are engaged in, in, in politics, that uh, we have to create a, such a new institutions in which people from different, uh, different uh, uh, groups of society uh, can express their, view about their views about uh, very important problems which uh, uh, are in uh, economic field or in, in politics. But, and this is the main reason, I think, that uh, uh, this, uh, these institutions were created. Uh, the another reason is that uh, the society, Polish society, is much more educated than, let us say, 10 years ago or 20 years ago. We have one million, <laughs> over one million people, one and a half million people. Uh, with high education, over six million uh, people who has um, uh, uh, this mid, as we call middle schools, uh, finish the middle schools. It means that society became more and more educated, uh, and uh, based on this uh, this level of education, people just uh, uh, needs uh, wanted to to to. to to have the right and to, to, to have the possibility to express their own view. Was it that the party was not a sufficient framework? No, no this? doubt, no doubt. And the third reason is that uh, there is a, a growing uh, tendency in our society to build uh, bodies which can be used as an uh, as a instrument for control over the government and over the party. Because uh, coming back to the crisis in uh, 8081, there was no doubt that uh, uh, the, the main reason why came to such a crisis was the uh, policy of the party and the policy of the government in the 70s. The uh, uh, solidarity has uh, on, only deepened the crisis, but the beginning was not uh, in this day or in this month when the solidarity was born, but the 70s. So, uh, if you look at the Polish society now, there is a strong wish to have a, a real control over all 
uh, governmental bodies and in addition also over my party. So it seems to me that uh, all these institutions which you mentioned, uh, you can uh, treat them as an answer of these changes which has taken place and of the needs of the society, you know. What's the relationship between these institutions and the economic reform? Uh, because we've had the first phase of reform yeah. launched after 1981, yeah. which hasn't delivered the goods so far. Now there is a talk about the second phase of reform. Yes. What's the prospect? Uh, well, I think that uh, these this, uh, institutions are uh, also can be used uh, for uh, uh, these uh, goals, which are uh, which are uh, which we which are connected with the uh, economic reform. I mean, for instance, if you take this uh, Social Economic Council, uh, we discussed usually a lot of uh, a lot of economic problems connected with the reforms, or problems social uh, social problems which uh, are also connected with uh, economic reforms. So I think that uh, these are this uh, additional bodies which can. Uh, make stronger the front of, of reformers in Poland, because there is no doubt that we have to do with uh, different, you know, in, uh, groups of the society, different interests, uh, also um, a lot of tensions between people who want to go very fast, uh, and other are connected with the uh, past or traditionally with tradition. Uh, and so on and so on. So um, it seems to me that uh, um, it's an attempt to, uh, to create a, a, a new kind of uh, democracy in our system, which uh, should be... Uh, What's your definition of democracy? Well, uh, the, the, there, is, uh, there are some old definitions of democracy, but I think that the main the, the main source for, uh, for democracy is when the people in the field of economy can uh, decide about their own, um, own future and uh, about their own uh, um, position in the uh, society, in uh, the government. So, because, uh, of course, uh, you have to do in every country with uh, different institutions and also uh, because the um, world is divided in two parts, as a matter of fact. Uh, in the West, there is another concept of democracy, and in, in the socialist countries, too. But I think that just we started uh, now, I am thinking now, I am speaking now about the uh, socialist world, started to create a democracy which is uh, based on changes which has taken place in this undeveloped part of, of Europe in the last 40 years. There is no doubt that in the f first decades, democracy was limited in our country, and not only in our country, in the whole uh, socialist bloc. Uh, but uh, this, uh, uh, this limits belongs to the past, as a matter of fact, because we have to do now, just in uh, the end of 80s, with uh, the new generation, generation which was growing up after the World War II. Uh, this generation has uh, totally different experiences than my generation. My generation, I call it a war generation. And there are a lot of reasons why we have to, uh, to not only to think, but also to make the next step in the concept of democracy, you know. But isn't an attempt to have a one-party system and pluralism, isn't that an attempt to square the circle? Uh, well, you know, uh, no, I think that uh, just uh, one have to look at uh, this, uh, this changes which uh, has taken place in, in the socialist bloc or in Poland in the last uh, years as a beginning, as a matter of fact, of a new chapter in the development of socialism and uh, also of the socialist democracy. And it's very difficult to answer today of such a question, because this is a, question, this is a problem of, of, of the next years. I don't know if someone asked me, tell me, Mr. Rakowski, uh, what are you thinking about the political structures uh, in, the, in Poland in the next five years or ten years? My answer is I don't know just now, because it's a, we have to practice, we have to, 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 to study the, the situation which uh, 
uh, will be created by uh, such a development. If you, for instance, take the economic ref reform, well, uh, it's a totally different concept of, of uh, economy, of uh, managing, than it was uh, in the last four decades. So um, many problems in the socialist world, in my opinion, are uh, open problems, and uh, therefore I am very careful to, to, to give you a clear answer of such a question. If one of the principles of the economic reform is greater autonomy to the firms, self-financing, even self-management, that suggests a retreat of the party from the economic sphere. What does it mean for the party, for its leading role? Well, it's a good question, uh, because I think that uh, just based on these changes in the, econ in the economic field, we have to put this question before us, uh, what, uh, how uh, this uh, leading role of the party should be formed in this new, uh, new period or in this new uh, economic situation. I think that uh, uh, this is one of the main tasks, maybe a theoretical and practical one for the party, which was uh, educated in the last 40 decades as a um, political force which controlled the whole uh, development, uh, I mean, including the economy. Uh, what does practically mean, in my opinion, because uh, this question occupied, occupied also me, I think that um, the party should be in, uh, pushed much more and more uh, in a, a direction which I call uh, ideology. And uh, it means that parties should be uh, should have much more and more interest for political uh, work, I should say, for ideology. Uh, parties should uh, discuss uh, a lot of very important social, political, economic problems which uh, are coming every day because not only of the development in our country but of the development in the whole world. So I think that so it shouldn't be afraid of giving up power? No, no. Well, but because this is a question, what does mean power? Yeah, uh, Because you can use a lot of, of means which uh, uh, are useful uh, for a party which has uh, a power. And uh, it, doesn't mean to, that, it doesn't mean that power or that power means a co full control over the whole development in, in the country or in the nation. No, no. I think that uh, f for our party, for instance, I'm speaking of on, only about Poland, there is a huge field far uh, from the economy, which is very important if someone is thinking about the deepening of the uh, 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 mm, power of, mm, of uh, strengthen the power of the party. And, uh, you know, uh, in the last years we are, we became more and more, I guess, pragmatic. But this is a question how far we should go in this direction. How uh, far? Yeah, well, again, this is an open question because, uh, you oh, know, yeah. uh, we have, uh, as a matter of fact, a lack of, t of theoreticians in the uh, communist movement. Uh, I mean, not only in Poland, but uh, just in the whole uh, world, or I'm speaking now about uh, uh, East uh, Europe. It means that uh, in, the, in the last decades, theoreticians uh, were uh, more or less occupied by uh, problems and uh, concepts which, as a matter of fact, were very far from these uh, problems which we, about which we talk now. And there is a Gorbachev factor now in the Soviet oh, yeah. Union. Well, Does it mean that uh, uh, reform is more feasible? Here, because there is Gorbachev and so on. Well, what difference does it not, make? To no, no doubt, no doubt, because of course uh, we started with reforms uh, a bit earlier than uh, Gorbachev, uh, but uh, it seems to me that uh, we became um, spiritually more uh, stronger in the day when, uh, at the day when uh, Gorbachev started with the reforms in the uh, Soviet Union, uh, because well, it's uh, if you are not alone, but you have uh, someone uh, with you, and then you you feel that you have more more uh, more power. The more you are, you have much more 
possibilities to, to change the, the, the circumstances in which uh, we live. Is it also helpful to have the image of the Soviet Union improved? Oh yes, yes. Now look, uh, just uh, uh, some days ago uh, there was such a festival of the uh, Soviet uh, songs in one place in Poland and for the first time I guess in the last 42 years a Polish singer uh, has presented a song about Gorbachev, you know. Uh, so something unusual as a matter of fact. <laughs> In, in Poland and uh, the, of course during the Stalin time there were songs also but uh, were written in the totally different conditions. Uh, this uh, uh, guy has uh, presented his song without any, no, uh, without any attempt from, the, uh, from anyone to, to, to push him in this direction. Yeah. So I think that uh, just because of the, the reforms in the Soviet Union or because of Gorbachev and his policy, Poland has uh, now a much uh, better con uh, situation in this sense that uh, all what uh, is presented now in the Soviet Union as a, a huge uh, parcel of, of, of reforms, you can find also in our concepts. But could it change also the relationship between Moscow and the East European allies? Uh, well, no doubt, but yeah, but the relations between Moscow and, and the European alliances are also in a move. This is a totally different situation than it was, for instance, in the Stalin time or even later uh, in Khrushchev era or even Brezhnev era. So I think that just we entered as a, uh, as a uh, formation in a new period, uh, of course, uh, there there'll be more autonomy for each uh, uh, well, country. Well, no, no doubt, but I think that, that the whole concept based on such an idea, because every nation in this part of Europe has his own, you know, uh, past, his uh, own tradition and uh, own view about the the the, 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 uh, the uh, themselves and uh, the future of, of these countries. Yeah, uh, I should uh, add that uh, in the, for the first time, as a matter of fact, in the Polish uh, after World War II history, people in Poland, uh, I mean not only people who are members of the party, are really interested in what is going on in the Soviet Union and, uh, for instance, the, 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 the uh, Gorbachev reforms or uh, he as a person, he as a politician, is uh, really observed uh, every day, I should say, in Poland, and people discussed uh, what is going on in, the Soviet, in so, so the Soviet Union. Put a lot of questions, so uh, but not only just during uh, this another meeting. No, in the families, you know, or if you met someone, he will ask you, well, what are you thinking about Gorbachev, and uh, he creates a lot of sympathy for himself which is also an unusual uh, uh, fact, as a matter of fact, in the last uh, decades, because... Uh, because well, the Polish party had suffered from the uh, traditionally negative image of Soviet Russia. Well, Polish you know, uh, when I underline that this is for the first time, then I should add that uh, uh, usually the uh, relationship or the approach to the Soviet Union and Soviet people in Poland in the last uh, 40 years was differentiated. The, I, am, the, I, I can't accept, for instance, such a view that the Poland or Polish people are usually against the Soviet Union because it's not true. Uh, the, the history was much more complicated. Yeah. So when I am now, uh, when I say now that. Uh, saying now that uh, this is uh, something new then uh, because uh, it's uh, widespread, because this is such a general view or I should say that the nation is thinking now in such a way or the approach of the nation to the Soviet reforms, to Gorbachev, are, uh, have something new, you know, are, are something new. You were known as a prominent journalist during the Gierek era yeah. and then many people were caught by surprise yeah. when you became associated with uh, uh, General Jaruzelski after December 13. Um, 
Could you explain uh, 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 this evolution and looking back in retrospect, well, why the, was martial law the, necessary? There, is one, uh, there was no evolution because uh, I was uh, for the 25 years or uh, even more a journalist and uh, uh, usually I was known, excuse me, uh, as a, um, a human being which, uh, who was very critical towards the policy of every equipe. So, for instance, in the beginning of 70s I accepted Gerek. Uh, Gerek's policy because uh, this policy was uh, very useful for Poland just as he started but then in the mid of 70s uh, he, he, he and his people has created uh, such a, uh, or started with such a policy which was uh, false and was very often foolish and uh, then also I started to criticize him so the fact that I came to this, uh, I, I became a member of, of this Jaruzelski uh, equipe, I don't think is uh, something unusual because, uh, as you know, I guess you know that I was the editor in chief of Politica and Politica was well known as a critical paper. Of course, we have accepted the, the general lines of the, uh, the policy of the party, but. Uh, uh, on the other uh, hand, we have been well known as people who, who had a very critical approach to... It seems uh, that the Gerek period was associated with a sort of uh, to rather tolerant attitude towards uh, dissent, whereas martial law, on the contrary, meant a rather uh, yeah, authoritarian uh, crackdown. Uh, no, dissent. yes, but the martial law was... Uh, a result of uh, internal development in Poland. Uh, uh, Why was it necessary? <laughs> it was necessary because uh, in other, if we uh, haven't uh, uh, introduced this uh, uh, interview, then who knows what uh, could happen with uh, with uh, Polish state? Because uh, in the end of uh, n uh, n uh, 1981 the economic situation in Poland and the political situation became uh, uh, very dangerous for just a normal development of the government and uh, of the nation, of people. Look, uh, uh, we the, the production was uh, uh, smaller and smaller because of strikes, because of demonstrations and so on. Uh, uh, for instance, uh, we exported uh, over, um, well, near 40 million tons of uh, coal every year, and uh, uh, in '81, uh, this uh, dropped to uh, 16 millions of tons. To Do you think martial law prevented a Soviet no, invasion? Uh, well, somehow yes, because you know, it wasn't. Uh, 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 quite clear that uh, uh, we have to do in the world with uh, just uh, you know uh, two powers and two blacks and I don't know who can uh, who was uh, uh, yeah, we have to do to, to, to wait wait a minute I haven't find them. Do you think the imposition of martial law has yeah. actually prevented a Soviet invasion? Well. Uh, uh, no doubt, because uh, Poland belongs to the Warsaw Pact and uh, we have to do with two blacks in the world and uh, I think that uh, it wasn't uh, just, uh, it was foolish if someone uh, was thinking here in this uh, part of the world that uh, Poland can be taken from this uh, Warsaw Pact, from Comecon and from this socialist uh, uh, the socialist community out and uh, what, what what can be uh, what kind of, of, of state of government should be uh, exist here in this part of Europe so maybe I don't think that the, the, the Soviet intervention was just uh, the main uh, main reason why we have introduced the martial law we have first introduced because the whole uh, government the, 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 the country or uh, the the, the state was uh, became uh, was going in such a direction that uh, the disaster was not far from us i mean disaster is uh, just as a as a state as a nation uh, but if we are looking from the international scene from the the, the um, situation in the world then it was quite clear that uh, uh, 
such a development or, or in such a direction could mm, happen only in one way. Not and it, do you think dialogue or some form of consultation with the opposition is still possible or is it pointless? Well, uh, just now it's a totally different situation as it was in uh, the end of 81 because uh, in this uh, period the opposition or the leading people from the opposition were, uh, f were very far from any concept of dialogue with us because uh, this was uh, such a situation in which uh, these people uh, had a strong belief that they are so strong that uh, uh, we are for them not a partner. But just now, after seven years, uh, this uh, the situation has been uh, different. For instance, uh, a lot of people from the opposition, they accept now, as a matter of fact, the uh, uh, martial law. And uh, they are now, in, uh, uh, they represented such a view that uh, uh, this was just a step which uh, was, uh, let us say, an objective one. So I, I think that the dialogue with people who accept our, uh, our uh, economic and uh, social system, but they are critically towards our policy, everyday policy or policy, even for four years in the field of economy or in the social section of our lives of, with such a people, we can find a common language. And uh, this is again a question of, of, of practice, you know. Uh, well, I know a lot of people from this uh, group and uh, they are different uh, and they are diff thinking in a different way than uh, in the end of 81. So all is uh, in changes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.